Right. We're going to talk about in this video a little bit um, estimates versus sales orders versus create invoices. What does it mean? Sales receipts, all these different choices that QuickBooks gives us, and it's very confusing, right? So the idea behind these additional features, I'm going to go ahead and tell you why, and then you can decide if you need to use those for your business or not. All right. So first things first, on your homepage here, under the customer section, that's what we're talking about. You have your sales orders, your estimates, create invoices, sales receipts. If you don't have these and you figure after this video you need them, you want to go up to your edit, down to preferences. Always think about when you're doing these. It's so frustrating, right, to try and navigate. Where do, where do I find that? Where do I find that? Where do I turn that on through all these different choices? Whenever you're modifying something on the desktop, you can go straight to desktop. Helps you out a lot. You want to be logged in as admin so you can change your company preferences or have the rights in enterprise to change your company preferences. Uh, you can turn on and off sales receipts right here. Your estimates, you can turn, click on estimates. Do you create estimates? Yes. That's under jobs and estimates for future notice. <laughs> then you go back to your desktop view here and we're going to turn on sales orders. That's under sales and customers. Enable sales orders. Okay. So that's how you turn them on, first of all. So why do we have all these choices? The ideal situation and how you would use this, okay? Estimates, first of all, you can do estimates versus actual reports. You can't do that with sales orders, okay? So that's a reason to create estimates and not sales orders. All right. However, what you want to do with estimates, estimates will also tr track change orders for you, okay? Sales orders will set inventory aside. So when you create an invoice here, let's go ahead and put in, an, and if you have an inventory item, let's see here. I'm going to create a new inventory item right as we are talking. Um, part, part, oops, part, cost of goods sold, and we're going to put it to income. Oh, that's really bad income, right? Put it to income. Okay. So in here, if I put in part and I go over to quantity and I click on this little quantity button here, of course, I just added this part so there aren't going to be any, but notice here it says quantity on hand. This is quantity on sales order. Okay. So it sets it aside. It doesn't take it out of inventory, but it sets it aside and says, hey, your available quantity is 100 minus whatever's on sales order. So you already sold 10. So you only have 90 available, okay? Estimates doesn't do that. So the idea here is that you create an estimate or a quote, right? If you create a quote for your client, this is so that you can give them the pricing, they can look at a pricing, review it. Okay, I'm ready to buy, okay? So once you create the estimate, you're gonna go ahead in now and say, okay, we're ready to buy, create the sales order, okay? What that does at that point when we save this is it pulls it from inventory, right? So it sets it aside, says, hey, your inventory is not 100 like you thought because you already sold these 10, they just have to be shipped. All right, from the sales order screen here, you can also print a packing slip, print a pick list, shipping labels, all that fun stuff, okay? Uh, from the sales order side, you can go ahead and create a purchase order as well. You can do that from the estimate as well, but it's if you're going through the normal flow, estimate to sales order, then you want to do sales order to purchase order, and then sales order to invoice when it's shipped. So if I go in here now, I'm going to go ahead and ship the product out. So I have my, my deal here. I'm going to go ahead and create the invoice. It's going to all flow over. Invoice is saved. Save and close. Okay. So that's estimates to sales orders to create invoices. That's what that's meant to be. I have had clients that just create estimates and go straight to invoicing. All right, particularly if you're doing progress invoicing, that can happen a lot. So you go estimates straight to invoicing. Okay, sales orders are used most frequently with product. 
um, because as I mentioned, it affects inventory if, when you, once you convert it to a sales order. Now, the difference between all of these guys over here and their little gang <laughs> and this little create sales receipts over here. When you are doing these, um, particularly the create invoices, well, only the create invoices, you are posting to accounts receivable. So the client has terms with you, they owe you some money, all right? When you're entering a sales receipt, it's the exact same layout, it looks exactly the same, okay? Except for this little toolbar there. Same layout as an invoice, all the information is the same. However, the sales receipt is they're purchasing and paying you at the time you're creating this. No hitting accounts receivable, it's going straight to undeposited funds or straight into your petty cash straight into your bank account, okay? So that's the difference between an invoice and a sales receipt. So you have a whole bunch of different choices here. You just have to decide which pathway is the best way for your business. And then once that decision is made, you can turn off the other features that you're not gonna be using. And uh, if down the road your business changes a little bit, you can always come back in and turn it back on. <laughs>